Welcome back with the Ottaville ladies basketball team. Uh, very good team this year, very tough schedule, and we will talk about many of those topics as Dave Clayman joins us in his 26th season coaching the Lady Green. Brooke Mangus at the end, headed to Ohio State eventually for track and field, but right now focused on basketball, and Alicia Huntingford in the middle as well. Coach, what is it about Ottaville? I mean, it goes all the way back, Coach Quarter Cracks, you know, way back before any of us remember probably. But what is it about this little town that's been so good at, at you know, boys basketball over the years and, and what you've put together at girls basketball as well? I just think it's such a close-knit community. Uh, and I personally, my, me and my coaches, we know all the little kids okay. coming up. Yeah. It's easy to find your kids because no, they're right there at the school. Yeah. So uh, when we have our camps and things, we get them excited about playing basketball. And I remember these girls, uh -oh. little girls <laughs> running around and getting them excited about playing basketball and, and I think that's a key to it, getting them started early and getting excited about it and then being successful and they get to see the older girls being successful yeah. and they want to do the same thing and I, I think it just perpetuates the winning atmosphere there. Well, Sean Huntingford, do you remember being in those little camps and thinking someday you'll be a a high school star for the Lady Green? Yeah, I do. I always looked up to them and I knew I wanted to work as hard as they did and hopefully I'll get to the same spot as they did. Did this guy scare you when you were little or was he really <laughs> compassionate with the little kids? Uh, he's pretty nice. <laughs> he's giving you Sometimes. a nice smile right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Little intensity is not bad though. Right. That's a good thing. Well, we'll just talk about your season so far. I mean, 16 wins. You played some really good teams, gotten some wins, gotten some losses against them as well. But what's it been like for you so far? It's awesome just playing all together as a team. We've put everything together and hopefully we get as far as we want. Coach, top seed in the Ottawa district. What's that mean? It's a nice honor to be nominated by coaches to be number one. You had the head to head uh, victory against Arlington, which probably made the difference between one or two, but, but what does that mean for you? And, and then how do you approach it going into the sectional? Well, our, our sectional district is really good. Uh, the top eight teams on any given night could beat anybody else. So you really have to be on top of your game to play in those. Uh, the nice thing is you get to choose where you want to go and play when you're number one seed. And same way with two, three, four, and then everybody usually tries to avoid playing you so you don't have as tough a games to start the tournament. Mm. And, and it really helps us to prepare and get comfortable with the tournament atmosphere. You were playing since your freshman year. You know, can you believe you're a senior right now? Has it gone fast, those, those four years of high school? Yes, it's went extremely fast. I can remember my freshman year playing with my sister like it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Are those good memories with your sister? Yeah. Or did you go back and forth yeah, a little? It was good. There was some fighting, but overall it was good. <laughs> you remember some of the, the times with the oh, sisters. Oh, and you've yeah. had lots of sisters over the years. Absolutely. And, and Lish and Brooke both started as freshmen yeah. for us. And uh, they earned their spot and they learned a lot over the years. And I told them when they were freshmen, they were going to lead us when they were seniors. Wow. And they are. Yeah. So it, part of that is self-fulfilling prophecy. What did that feel like when he, he said, you're going to be leaders? We'll start with you. Kind of scary at first. <laughs> <laughs> but now, like fitting the role as a senior, it's just kind of how you're supposed to be and help your team out the best you can. So much depth on this team. You, a lot of interchangeable parts. You know, someone can get a rest, someone else can get in. How much fun is practice when you have that kind of competitiveness on your team? It's a lot of fun. We all are like best friends to each other. We all get along. And sometimes it's too much, I think. <laughs> but yeah, practice is always a blast because we're all so competitive with each other. After this, of course, track and field season, you'll try and defend your high jump state championship. And you committed to Ohio State to, to jump, I guess, for track and field, not run. You're, <laughs> no. you're not going to run down there, are right? no. you? Just be jumping. Yeah. <laughs> just jumping. Yeah. What, what was that process like for you in getting recruited and then making your decision for Columbus? Um, it was a great process. It's really fun to go on all those trips and get to know about colleges. I've just always loved Ohio State, so it was a great fit for me to be a Buckeye. When you have a guard that can jump like her, <laughs> what a nice advantage, huh, Coach? It, it, I, just, I just laugh when I tell the other coaches because a lot of them don't know the track stuff. And, yeah. and I'll say, see that guard, that's my guard over there? 
She won the high jump at the state back here. <laughs> what, well, what's your jump? It's 5'10". I'm going, what? <laughs> I said, yeah, 5'10". Yeah. And it's amazing that somebody 5'6", can, as a girl, can get up over the bar at 5'10". I know you and I can't get over no, the bar no, at 5'10". No. So. <laughs> I'd have to get a step left. She's ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> your schedule so competitive. Putnam County League to start with. Columbus Grove so good this year. Lip six been perennially good. Then you had the Mac into it with the Minsters of the world. Cold water coming up. Uh, Arlington's had a great season, other Western Buckeye League teams. How much do you enjoy having that competition? Well, we have to have those to improve. My, my pet saying is, to get good, you have to play against good. And we have to play against quality teams, and we've been doing that forever. Yeah. And if, you, if you're not challenged by those types of teams, you're not going to be successful in the, in the tournament. What's that atmosphere like for you, you, you ladies, as you? line up against these teams, they're state ranked, you're state ranked, might be a league game, might not. You know, how excited do you get for those games? It's awesome. Like, we know that it's going to be a big game every time, so we just have to compete and see what comes out. Does it feel like the tournament kind of in, in the regular yeah. season? That Minster win was a big one for you guys. Yeah, the Arlington and Minster games both felt like it was tournament time. It was really exciting and everybody was really zoned in and it was big wins and it made us grow as a team. It's a little break right now. What, is it 10 days off or something like that? No, just five. Oh, is it just five? Okay. Yeah, yeah. we had, uh, we played Lipsick last Saturday, but I was saying the, today to the other coaches, we need to play another game because the girls are getting tired of beating each other up in <laughs> yeah. practice because we, our practices are very, very competitive and we don't necessarily put varsity against JV. We mix the teams up and, okay. and it, it gets real intense and we, we really like it. That's the way to do it. Get ready for the postseason. The Ottawa ladies are getting there, riding a win streak, and we will have coverage of them throughout the tournament. Thanks for stopping by. Pizza is in the kitchen. You can go down the hallway. Uh, great job by Ottawa. When we return.